Do you believe in fate? Fate brought us here together, and it will never tear us apart. <laughs> Sayonara. Fleur de Cirée Eau de Parfum. Such a wonderful floral bouquet. With its subtle hints of rosemary. You know, in the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. <laughs> Which doesn't quite equate to you, now does it? Bayonetta! Shit! Will you stop that? That little bug on Enzo was a nice touch. Seeing you here, I suppose it wasn't the only one. <sighs> You've certainly bloomed, haven't you, my little Cheshire puss? I'm not your pet. The name is Luca. A name you'd better remember. Ah! about your kind. Sure, my colleagues laugh at me for chasing fairy tales, amongst other things. But I know they're real. I know the truth. This smell. the same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Which means I'm right on your doorstep, Bayonetta. I'll let you in on a little secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. You need to hone your sense of smell, my dear. There's no rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary's a demon repellent. You only run away so fast because you've got something to run from. Me! But you can't escape me forever! Stick. Nothing. Damn. What the? I've often seen. 
seen a girl without lipstick, but lipstick without a girl? Most curious, isn't it, Cheshire? What's also most curious is how a child like you has kept afloat in this town. The name is Luca! And don't you think it's a little strange to be worried about my well-being? Sure, the Festival of Resurrection has peaked security. The thing only happens once every 500 years, can you blame them? Besides, when you look as good as I do, security isn't a problem. But a killer like you, on the other hand, I'm sure you found a way. That little girl? I've seen her somewhere. Hey, don't go freaking out on me. We both know you came here for something. But what you don't know is the closer you get, the harder it's going to be for you to get away from me and what you've done. You'll have to fess up to it all. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get your hands on whatever it is you're after. Let me guess, you want a cut? Well, if you're still alive by then, perhaps you can appeal to my generosity. Still alive? You may be standing right in front of me, but you're definitely not living in reality. Which is a shame, because the truth is always going to be the truth. All I see when I look at you, the real you, is the truth. The truth is, you killed my father. I don't care who believes me. They can't reject the truth. The truth will set me free from your black stain on my life. The truth will allow me to expose you to the world. Then, I'll have And I'll do it without stooping to your level. Because I'm not a heartless witch like you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you gonna do? Kill me in plain sight? Go ahead. It would only prove everything I've said about you. Well, that and sadden the hearts of a number of young ladies. Claire and Trish and... Sylvia and Amy. Oh, you don't want to piss her off, let me tell you. Hell hath no fury. Mommy, you're a mom? You? Come now, Cheshire. Look at me. Do I look like I have any interest in children? Now making them? Well, that's another story. Whoa, whoa. You're getting the wrong idea. I mean, it might be the right idea, but not right now right. Right? Yeah, uh, speaking of right, I'm glad I've been standing around waiting for you, because I knew we'd cross paths. See, the only way to reach the upper crust in their gated island of champagne wishes and caviar dreams is over Prominence Bridge. Oh, yes, the island. Lovely place, isn't it? Oh, now what? Don't play games with me. You've worked your magic on this poor defenseless child, haven't you? You're a sad, sick woman, you know that? 
I was her age when you killed my father. Wait. No. You couldn't. Oh my god, you did, didn't you? You killed her parents! Hmm. Come to think of it, she's better off with you. You two are more hassle than you're worth. What? Just keep a good eye on her, or you're going to catch hell for it. No good deed goes unpunished, and you never know when a monster may sneak up on you. Mummy, look out! Bridge in these heels? I don't suppose I can call a cab to get me to the island. There is nothing to worry about. Mummy! Mummy saved us! What? Hello there, Cheshire. Yeah, shit! Mummy! It seems your driving is on par with your journalism. I figured I'd beat you to the island, but the guards had another idea, didn't they? Not really my best plan, huh? You think you've got me figured out, don't you? We journalists have to have some detective skills, you know. You're after a gemstone, and that stone has to be in the Ithaval group building. I'm headed there, too. How odd. You seem to know where I'm going before I do. Yet you don't seem to know how to drive a car in a straight line. What am I? A chauffeur? Cheshire, do you have any idea what prolonged walking in this salty air will do to my hair? Well, I tend to use some product when I go to the beach. Take care of our pest problem. <sighs> Wonderful. I'm getting the distinct impression I'm not wanted on that island. But I love it when people play hard to get. Holy crap. That's overdoing it! Right! Turn right! Get off the road! I know you don't want me here, but you really could have been more subtle about it. What happened to Mummy? 
Well, you see, she just went to look for something. That's all. I can't believe that witch. Placing a poor, helpless child under her spell. If she did anything to this little girl's parents, I swear. <laughs> Mommy! No, no, no need to cry. We'll get you to your mom in no time. Uh, here, I've got some candy if you want. It's yummy. I don't know. It's candy. Strawberry, I think. Hey, Kitty, I've got some yummies. Would you like some? Is that cat your friend? Yes, he is. His name is Cheshire. He's cute, isn't he? Cheshire. What a stupid name. Well, so much for taking the highway. Just means we're gonna have to find something else. <laughs> now, all I have to figure out is what to do about you. So, Cerecita, that woman's really your mom? Uh huh. My mommy is strong, and she protects me from scary monsters. Monsters? <laughs> I don't think you know who the real monsters are. Huh? This is way too dangerous!
Well, Hitty, what do you think we should do? He's hurt you, has he? Well, we can't be having that now, can we? Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Cereza, how did you get such magical glasses? <laughs> the glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my mummy. Wait. You think witches do what? No, oh, forget it. No point in arguing with a little kid. I'll manage on my own. I'm sure you will. Mummy! Shit. You never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target? <laughs> This is yours, little one. You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Nope. Good. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the oh, same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was A all just- A misunderstanding. You're so stubborn, you know that? My father, he was a journalist too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. A case so bizarre it took over his life. They could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, and their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages. Controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, the Light and Dark clans suddenly disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid, 500 years later. 500 years? Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep, even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. The legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, the multinational that dominates Vigrid, 
recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. for something I am how did you lose it little one do you have anything you really like something really important to you yes this I love it Did you get this? You gave it to me, Mummy, for my birthday. When you love something, never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. It's okay, little one. I'll be right back. Welcome aboard, Cheshire. Oh, fucking hell! Mummy! I told you I'd be right back. <laughs> Shouldn't you be, you know, flying this thing? I'm a bit occupied at the moment. Mommy! Well, so much for the subtle approach. We might as well have speakers on this thing blaring ride of the fucking Valkyries. Come now, we're VIPs. You know, nothing says you've made it in life like a private helicopter. <laughs> then welcome aboard Air Luca, Flight 001. This is your captain, Luca, speaking. Fasten your safety belts, as this may be a bumpy flight. Going to like what comes next. I hope you know that. Don't tell me. 
Air Cheshire has awful in-flight entertainment and horrendous food. Think about it. Those things that downed the jet aren't just going to let us land on their island. You think we can just say, hey, we're here, and they'll bring us a cake? Things look good from up here. But the further down you go, the harder it is to not notice the reality of things. Cheshire, look. Oh, I'm looking. to my fantasy zone. Welcome to Isla del Sol. Island of wealth and power. Jean, if you've made it this far, that should be enough. You're back to your old self. This is where we finish what was started so long ago. A friend of my enemy is also my enemy, be it witch or sage. The Lumen Sages. They were our counterbalance as overseers. Between us, there was a law that was never to be broken. It stated that the intersection of light and dark would bring calamity to this Earth. hundred years ago, a child was born, in clear violation of this tenet. That child was you. Five hundred years ago. The disaster this caused sent the clans into a spiral of chaos that continues to be felt to this day. You, the half-breed of light and dark, are at the center of that chaos. Allowing you to continue to exist is a danger that cannot be accepted. When the eyes of the world are within our grasp, the power of creation will be awakened. That is why the left eye, our treasured left eye, will never fall into the hands of another! The left eye, our treasured left eye, will never fall into the hands of another. Bayonetta, it is time that this is brought to an end. That you are brought to an end. You. You did it. It is our charge as witches to protect the treasures of the clan by any means necessary, even if it means burning every inch of this island to a crisp. I'm really beginning to hate missiles. You know, I have no idea what the hell you girls got going on here. But you don't mind if I take this off your hands, do you? Get in, Cinecita. 
Time is of the essence. This can wait no longer. Hey. Ah! Is it over? What? It's not like you don't scare the shit out of me all the time. Sereza. I don't know whether to shoot you, or to take you to Vegas for good luck, Cheshire. Give me more credit than that. If you must know where L-U-K-A Luca is concerned, there's no such thing as luck. Only skill. expect me to trust bitches. I mean, witches, did you, Bayonetta? How's the little one? Out like a light. But okay other than that. What about you? You really think I'm gonna let myself be seen in public with a girl looking all beat up like that? Oh. I look dreadful, do I? Huh? You'll have to learn to wipe that stupid look off your face, or I'll never let you keep chasing me around this world. Got that? Luca? <laughs> now that's more like it. Welcome back, little one. Mummy, where are we? It looks like someone's expecting us. Awfully nice of them to roll out the red carpet. Luca, you need to get one thing straight. Yeah, I know. I won't look after you, so don't screw up. I got things under control. Let's go. Stay next to me, little one. Daddy? What? Daddy! It's Daddy! Daddy? Of course, Mommy. Can't you hear him? Okay, Daddy, I'm coming. And I'll bring Mommy with me. Little one, wait! This way, Mommy! Little one! Cenecita! Bayonetta! Damn it! Mommy! I could never call the man behind this nightmare father. Uh, great speech, big guy. Luca. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation, light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is littered with famous genocidal figures, just like you. Or, should I say, infamous genocidal figures. 
You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. Like father, like son, I suppose. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. Your father had problems with my philosophies. It's fine to investigate. But when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long-lost eraser was at the bottom of some lake, I granted him his final wish and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! I will allow you to die in the same manner as your father. <laughs> I guess my plan has gone right out the window. <laughs> Such a shame that sacrifice had to be made. But if destiny is not fulfilled soon, this tragedy will be repeated ad nauseum. Mm. Speaking of tragedy, I suppose you've met Jean. While she sealed you away and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Her tragic end led you directly to me, just as planned. The time for awakening the left eye is soon. Fear not, my dear, sweet Cereza. That's it, Cereza. Do not fear your fate. Stand tall, my child. Realize your true potential. Sereza, <sighs> we are one, my child. Gotta give you credit, Bayonetta. You never cease to impress. You haven't seen the half of it. I've seen enough.
Well, that about wraps it up, huh? Not yet. No need to be afraid, little one. The nightmare is over. Everything was just a dream. You're a strong little girl. There is nothing you cannot overcome. Mommy, did you find it? What you were looking for? Yes, I found it. So don't you worry anymore. You just keep your treasure safe too. Sweet dreams, little one. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, I'm not afraid anymore, Mummy. No matter what, there's nothing I cannot do. Bayonetta! What's happening to you? And now it is done. The right eye oversees the light. The left eye oversees the darkness. Two eyes to oversee the world. It was never the woman known as Bayonetta that I set my sights upon. It was you as a child. Sereza, that I saw. For she was the one who saw the world through innocent eyes. And she was the one who could give rise to a new history. It was her energy that could awaken the left eye. This has all worked out splendidly. <coughs> Let us begin, Sereza. The time is at hand. Now, the resurrection of Jubileus shall be completed. We are the eyes overseeing the world. We are the eyes overseeing a new era, a new reality. 
to which we will devote ourselves eternally. the Creator grace all of its creations. getting ridiculous. How do you keep surviving all this? I bet you're trying to sneak up on me right now. Aren't you, Bayonetta? for the wicked but at least she's at peace back in the box she came from and I guess I'm gonna have to find a new racket to line my pockets no bonus for old Enzo this time <laughs> as fucking usual you know how it works with witches Enzo they make a deal with the devil and when they die the devil gets his due you get sucked down into hell and wandering around scared shitless for eternity kind of comes with territory why are you telling me this is this not why we are standing here praying for her soul to rest in peace i better not be out here catching a fucking cold if these prayers don't mean nothing it's nice to think your prayers are worth a damn isn't it you made a killing exploiting her hell you never know she might get lonely and come back to haunt your ass <coughs> Haunt me? Hell can keep her then. I said I'd never give up chasing you. I just never thought the chase would end like this. <coughs> Rosemary. You said it was a demon repellent. It might help you on the road ahead. Hey. Hey. Hey, wait a second. What the hell are they coming down here to get her for? Of course they'd come for the prize they've been seeking all along. Holy shit! You're... the last time I cosplay. Oh, 
shoving me into this filthy old basket. And next time some air holes would be nice. You are words, I hear. Save the chit-chat for later. We've got work to do. Extra ingenue? It has a bit of rosemary. In the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. Suits me now, doesn't it? Let's dance, boys! So, our fates and our paths cross once again. Made of marine, also known as diamond lilies, I think. The name Nerine is derived from the Nereids, or sea nymphs. Quite appropriate for this city. Luca? Will you quit calling me that? I'm not a pet, or a cat! Oh, wait, you said Luca. Not used to that. How are you, Bayonetta? No matter where I am, you always know how to make an entrance. Nice glasses. Oh, these? <laughs> Rodan has a soft spot for Shinshu Sake from Japan. It was an easy trade to get him to make these for me. And don't get it twisted, Bayonetta. I'm not stalking you, this time at least. <laughs> Look, I know you've got nothing but secrets. Hell, that goes for anyone, right? But if there's one thing I've learned in my line of work, it's when I found you, I found the story. What on earth are you on about this time? Don't act dumb with me. You know the story better than anyone. The Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages, two clans that wielded incredible power just 500 years ago. Clans of the Overseer, watching over us all with the eyes of the world. The power to govern light and darkness. But now I know that there really was an Overseer. And this Overseer is the one who created the eyes of the world for humanity. The same ones that the clans held on to so hard. The Overseer was the true creator. The true god of the human realm. The god of chaos. The god of chaos? From what my research has told me, that god used to live right here in Noatu. That's why this place has gateways to each realm of the Trinity of Realities. La Porta del Paradiso. The doorway to heaven, and 
La Porta dell'Inferno. The real gates of hell. Listen, I heard about John. What the? <laughs> Some squirrels get all the nuts. You're a lucky little fella, huh? Never took you for an animal lover, Bayonetta. What can I say? I took a liking to one of the locals. So he's your little tour guide, huh? Look, I know this isn't the time to chat. Let me see what I can find out to help you. Just don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, Cheshire. Don't you worry about my nose. I can smell trouble when I see it. You just take care of yourself. staring at Bayonetta's tits all the time. You really need to learn how to talk to a lady. Hey, I am no... Wait, how, how did... No time for this, mate. Where's the mountain? Where's Fimbleventer? I'm in a hurry. Uh, hey, kid! What the hell was that? Kids these days. Huh. always landing on his feet, Cheshire. I think... I remember this. Huh? Again. Oh, hey, mouthy Brad kid. So, I see you're acquainted. How did you get here? I'm the great L U K A Luca. I didn't go through all these ridiculous ordeals to just randomly show up in opportune places, you know. See? Risking everything for nothing. Told you I knew someone just like that. So, what are you after this time? Oh, loads of stuff. For instance... I found this really great place for seafood. You do an amazing sardine munier. But more importantly, I'm investigating an old Noah Toon story. Known as The Legend of Aesir. The Legend of Aesir? This fairy tale is... Actually, this might have something to do with you, Bayonetta. You don't say. The legend of Aesir. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers, most of all ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Aesir. Aesir spent the first eternity quietly looking upon the earth from his holy mountain. Where we only see reality and make it match our rules of the world, 
Aesir saw through reality, and those visions became our world. These observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts. The right eye of light and the left eye of darkness. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is but a reed, the most feeble thing in nature, but now we were thinking reeds, and we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir had been granted the power of creation. The eyes? That's right. The eyes of the world, controlled by a Lumen Sage and Umbra Witch. The eyes of the world? However, the influence of the right eye, the one controlled by the Sages, left this world forever with the death of the final Sage. natural disasters that are occurring right now have something to do with the loss of the right eye? And what will happen to our planet? Those are the truths I'm after. And the truth will always be the truth. So if the truth is here, then so am I. And I think the key to that truth is that mountain, Thimbleventer. How do you find these things? I've done my homework. Would you expect anything less from the marvelous, magnificent, magnanimous Luca? Bayonetta, get on! If I got it right, then this gate should lead to. together what happened Luca was it you know the way to Fimbleventer right please take me there I, I, I remember I remember everything I have to hurry are you nuts kid we need to get you patched up there's no time please take me to Fimbleventer or the world will end he and I we are good and evil evil cannot be all that is left what? Keep us safe with this. It's my trump card. Please. Just take me there. Huh. <laughs> Girls passing out in front of me I'm used to. But this... This is unbelievable. Well, I guess it beats addicting toddlers to lollipops. This piggyback ride is killing my back. Why can't you be an adorable little Cerecita that weighs like 10 pounds? Well, at least your little good luck charm got me where I needed to go, right? We're here, kid. Right on the front door of that temple you were so damn determined to get to. Not sure if they're gonna roll out the red carpet for us. Uh... Should be looking for your better half. <laughs> You've got your memories back. Convenient. But you're certainly not looking like my better half. 
The only thing you have to offer me is your sovereign power. Then you will be truly worthless. Thimble Venter, the Lumen Sage, right eye of the Overseer, the Umbra Witch, left eye of the Overseer. Now, everything has fallen into place. Bayonetta, get out of... Balder, this is what I promised you, your chance at revenge. Accept it freely. That is your revenge. Is this not the one who destroyed your world, who destroyed your life? Surely this can't be all you hoped to see. were once a single being. However, this half said he would awaken humans to the truth of their existence. So he divided our divine power and our very souls in two. We should have become mere shells, but this half left behind a certain power within himself in order to protect the balance, our split brought the world. A sovereign power to freely control the eyes of the world. Unfortunately, this one made quite the miscalculation. He had not accounted for the power of evil intent which grew as humans prospered. I couldn't use the sovereign power to control the eyes, so instead, I used the evil hearts of humans to begin to retrieve the power of the ancient god. And all that remained is taking back the one power I do not yet have. The sovereign power. The power this one held within. You managed to escape 500 years before, but it was merely a waiting game. Waiting for you to be reborn. Now the time has come for our powers to become one again, and for me to ascend to the throne as Aesir, God. Sovereign power to my hands. I now have the power to control the eyes as I wish. Can I start from the right eye? Take him if it pleases you. He is nothing but an empty container to me now. I have no more use for him. 
It is time I receive your power, witch. Don't worry, I got the kid. You've got my permission to show him your stuff, Bayonetta. What on earth was that? Just some fool always swinging in out of nowhere. Albeit with absolutely impeccable timing. I suppose not even a god can see him coming. Gods do not concern themselves with the machinations of insects. Now, Umbra Witch, the left eye of darkness must return from whence it came. Then just try to take it back. You've destroyed more. Kid, you gonna be okay? His first mistake was thinking that all I had to me was some shit sovereign power. Stupid fool doesn't get why I'm the better half. I thought you were all out of cards. The real trump card's the one you keep hidden until just the right time you made. What? The real power of Lord Aesir, the god of chaos, is nothingness. The power to erase anything and everything from the world. Even the very eyes that created it. No! Whoa, hold on for a second, kid. What happens to the world if you... Any good card player is a gambler, right? Either the world will be destroyed, or it will create its own path. Human free will will determine which way things go. If it comes to this, it will just begin anew. A return to another place in time. Create a new era. One that cowers to my will. Shit! He's trying to shed his body and return to the spirit realm. He'll just be reborn in a different era. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Do you think you can contain my power? Have you lost your sanity? Sanity is a requirement for our kind. You will never see another era trapped inside me. Only an endless circle of time. Mate, that's pure evil you're dealing with. It's a poison that will live inside you forever. So be it. What's wrong can be made right through human hands. Boulder! Ceresa, listen to me. You... you know my name? If I stray from my path, you must be the one. The one to stop me. Boulder! Ceresa, just one time. Call me... Daddy. Daddy. Thank you, Ceresa. My dear, sweet child. Seems like the world's still in one piece. Seems so. You don't need the eyes of the world, love. I believe in your kind. You can create whatever future you desire. What will happen to you? I'll just take a little break. This world doesn't need me anymore, right? Will I see you again? Hard to say. I'll come back to this world someday. So if you're lucky, maybe we'll meet again, love.
Little one, I... I'm not little. And I have a name. It's Aesir. I mean, my name is Loki. And I think you can quit treating me like a kid now. Then I'll call you by your name when I see you again. As a man. Bloody hell. Well, that's fine, I guess. At least I know what I want to be when I grow up, right? See you around, Bayonetta. Goodbye, little one. And you can call me Cereza. Sorry, love. But you still don't strike me as a Cereza. better after the holidays. And the distinct lack of acts of God doesn't hurt either. Can you believe they tore my dress to shreds? Right about here, I think it was. Absolutely criminal. There's such a thing as a time and a place. Time? Cereza, cat got your tongue? No. No. I'm fine. Hey, come on. How long do I have to keep doing this? Investigative journalism is big in January. The gates of hell goes down. And so does your anonymous source, my friend. Now keep driving. All right, all right, I get it. I owe you. I'm not the one with the endless tab. Where is that deadbeat anyway? Well, those two are getting along nicely. Now, to get those new heels. Come along, Endo. Someone with no strings attached. And what's your name, my furry friend? <laughs> you know, I rather enjoy teaching obedience. I'll have you rolling over in no time.
like you're ready for the leash. Now, why don't you sit for mummy? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have rubbed his nose in it. Moving again. Do you believe in fate? Luca? Fate brought us here together. And it will never tear us apart. have been a huge pain in the ass. Hey, I bet you take care of them for me. Appreciate it, Sidisita. Wait! <sighs> I see his motto is still act first, think later. Only the Luca I know would be bold enough to call me Sarasita. It must have been him on Thor then too. What in the world is he doing here? Not much for waiting patiently. And I suppose that girl isn't either. Uh, so anyway, I was worried you might be floating in the asshole of the multiverse or something. Uh, oh, and I didn't need your help back there. I could have squashed a bug like that myself. I, I was just uh, waiting for the right moment, okay? J trying to get that sweet finisher and put it down for. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Worry about yourself, my dear. Lesson one. Carelessness will get your tail snipped, Kitty. I... I told you not to call me that! Anyway... Did you find it? <laughs> so the Chaos Gear was really there. If the hypothesis is right, with five of these Chaos Gears, and help from Dr. Sigurd, the Alphaverse is just... Huh? If these little things are really so important, then I'd better hold on to them for now. Maybe a bit too heavy for your little paws, Kitty. Oh, don't make me say it again! My name is Viola! V-I-O-L! Viola! <laughs> She's really under your skin, huh, kid? But you gotta prove yourself to her if you want to move beyond nicknames. That's right, the one and only L-U-K-A. Hang on, 
Have we met before? I think I'd remember you, Riot Girl. Uh, huh? Uh, uh... Extra ingenue. Time I got going. Gotta find that voice. Later, ladies. Kitty, why don't you look after him for me? What? Me? By myself? Lesson two. Learn to fight for others, not just for yourself. I'm sure he'll give you lots of practice. And besides... What? You don't need my help, right? Wait! Ugh. Breathing at least. Don't worry, they're all gone. Are you hurt? Can you get up? Stay back! <sighs> Damn, my head feels like it's cracking open. <sighs> There's only one truth. Luca?
can't be. to bully Little Red Riding Hood, did you? Predictable. Oh, wait! What are you up to, Kitty? You can't! You don't know who he really is. Impossible. Each world the multiverse loses seems to be making it more and more unstable. It's why he's... like that. Please, wait! If we can get to the Alphaverse and stop Singularity, we might be able to help him. Might isn't good enough. And at any rate, I only have three of these. Let me take care of him. I'm in no mood for jokes. Please! You have to be the one to find all of the Chaos Gears. Look. I know how you feel. So? But trust me. He means a lot to me, too. He's a bit of a fool, and a reckless one at that. Always getting himself into some kind of trouble. But he always pops back up with that foolish grin. No worse for the wear. This time will be no different. However, if he doesn't pop back up this time, I'll have you tearing apart reality to find him. Got that, Kitty?
Yeah, I got it. Sir, yes, sir! Shit! <gasps> Much better. Now off you go. And hey, the name's Viola! Don't forget it! From the same sphere as that beast man? <sighs> Luca? Luca. So he is called Luca. I am Luca. What is this place? And where did Luca go? He no longer tarries here. That beast man is surely my else fellow. It seems we were drawn together across the world walls to find each other here. Drawn together? Then what am I doing here? It appears as though you also share a bond most deep with us. A bond of blood, perhaps? Brother and sister, or something more? <laughs> Woman, I know you. The voice calls to me. Wait, what are you saying? from different worlds, but I know you feel it. It's me. I'm your...
What are you doing here? Always getting in over your head. I'll take care of you. right to call me by that name.
Luca. Kitty. Bayonetta. Luca! Fear not, for he is at peace. It seems we have been drawn into the Alphaverse. Alphaverse was always just a decoy. He wanted us here, and away from Thor. That means... Sean. We're trapped here. No way out. It would seem these events are the truth I was shown. Now, let the hearts of all Ark Adams gather here as one. Luca. I finally figured out what the truth is. Bayonetta, my purpose is to get you to where you need to be. Look. That vortex is singularity absorbing this world's energy. Luca, what are you trying to say? I'm going to use it to send you two home. From there? But how? Wish I knew just what to say at a time like this. You don't have to. You're a clumsy fool, but you never fail to impress. Later, Violita.
Goodbye, Bayonetta. I'll always love you both. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. It was a bit hard to find you with all the rubble. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, how is it to exist here and now? You never cease to amuse me, Luca. I could imagine worse men to spend my last moments with. Hey, you're the only one I want by my side. We've got to keep her safe. I know. She's the one who's going to keep our truth alive.
when you fight for what you believe, you can change anything. Seems like we always find each other whenever she needs us. And we've already come so far. Fate brought us here together, and it will never tear us apart. We'll always be together, Cereza. No, Luca. We've always been together. My clumsy, lovely fool. Will forever be in my heart. Dream that could not 